top and bottom material. Top and bottom is used to assign two different materials to the top and the bottom of an object. So I'm going to create a sphere. And there's my sphere. I'm going to go up to the material editor. And in the material editor, I'm going to go down and pick on my type. And I'm going to go to top and bottom. Say OK. I'm going to discard my old material. Material uh, for the top material, I'm going to pick on it. I'll pick a diffuse color. And I'll pick, pick like a green material. And then I'm going to go, go to parent. I'm going to go to my bottom material. I'll pick a diffuse color. I'll pick kind of a yellowish color here. Say OK. And now I got green on top, bottom on the bottom, green on bottom. I'll go back to here. And now that I have this selected, I'm going to assign the material to the selection. And boom, I assign it to the selection. And now I'm just going to go up and render the frame. And I'll do render. And you can see in my rendering, I got green on top yellow on bottom. All right, so this is a great way to have two different types of materials, one on top, one on bottom. You can see over here, I can set my coordinates to be world or local, and I can set the blending. And so I'm going to set the blending to 50% here, and I'll come over here and say blend. And so now it blends the lines a little more here, right? So I'll say 80, and I'll say render, and blend. So when I'm at zero, I say render, clear cut line. All right, position, where do I want want the item? I'll say 75, I'll say render, boom, it moves it up. So top and bottom, two different materials on the object shows up in our rendering. All right, if I go to here and uh, let me close the rendering. And so it doesn't show up. Uh, until we render and here's a good example remember I can always come over here and magnify this and say that's what my object looks like so I could come over here and change the blend say I want 20 here and it shows up in the preview so top and bottom material 